what's up guys we are back here with another auto auction update man we got a few cars on our list today if you haven't been here before be sure to like comment and subscribe to the channel and you guys already know what it is so let's get right into it shall we all righty guys first up we got a 2000 toyota solara here 177 000, 000 miles on the dash here guys paint is super faded clear coat is super gone i guess they got that m for maybach they had the Mer uh, mercedes benz strings and that's all fine and dandy but the clear coat is totally gone on this joint it is the v6 it does have the sunroof there if we take a look on the inside it does have that leather tan i mean yeah leather tan interior um a few rips and a few rips on the seats nothing too crazy um however the sitting part looks really good and then i guess the backs looks pretty fair then if you take a look at the interface up here it does look all intact and everything so uh they just probably drove the heck out this car clear coat is super gone maybe if you're able to get a clear coat of some sort this will turn out to be a pretty decent ride 177,000 miles on a toyota i believe you got a lot more to go what you guys think about it, man? Let me know in the comments below. Alrighty, guys. Next up, man, we got a 2011 Ford Fusion here. This one actually has 133,000 miles and it has a bad transmission. Uh, we're not interested in cars with bad transmission, so we're just gonna keep this one quick here, guys. I'll just show you the inside of what you can potentially get for pretty cheap because I'm sure it's gonna go for cheap here today if you got a transmission for this thing. It'll be pretty easy to do. Um, nice interior, nice black leather interior. The mileage is pretty fair, right at 133. Uh, it's a good looking car. If you can get a trans for it, that'll be perfect. You're gonna need uh, the front wheel up here. It might be in the trunk, who really knows? But I don't know what you guys think about the Ford Fusion with a bad transmission. Next up, guys, we got a 2014 Volkswagen Jetta here. 25,000 miles on the dash, guys. Pretty new of a car. Just going based off the mileage here. Does look really good. Nice little champagne color. Oh, did I say 25,000 miles? I meant 52,000 miles. It does have a parking sticker there. So who knows what's really wrong with this thing. If we take a look on the inside, it does have some, uh, I guess, pretty decent interior. That side is pretty whooped. Back is definitely whooped. All them stains and everything in the seats is just crazy. Definitely was a female car. However, it does smell fairly new inside. Um, so who knows? Who knows what really happened to the car or why they have the parking sticker on it? Or they probably got it towed and just couldn't get it out. Who knows the real reason why it's here. We can actually pop the hood on this joint. Underneath, it does look pretty decent. I don't see anything that stands out to me. Um, yeah, what do you guys think about the 2014 Volkswagen Jetta, man? Next up, guys, we got a 2007 Nissan Altima here. 171,000 miles on the clock here, guys. Um, this side is pretty fair, pretty good. Nothing that stands out to me. You can pop under the hood since it's just staring us in the face right now. 171,000 miles, got a piece of wood there. I'm sure that might be to hold up the hood, but however, you got some radiator hangage over here. So I don't know, you're gonna have to get that adjusted. 171,000 miles, man. I'm really not trying to hop under the hood too many cars nowadays i'm just trying to buy the right stuff but this thing is pretty whooped in the inside guys um got lays potato chips or whatever you have down there missing radio so i think i'm going to pass on this one it does have a tequila kick there but if this is your your type of ultimate man they got it here it's going to go for pretty cheap let me know what you guys think about it in the comments below next up guys we got a 2011 Nissan Altima here, 124,000 miles on the clock. Does look pretty good from a first glance. Uh, you're gonna need some hubcaps there first off. Hubcaps are gone, it does have a little scrape. There, nothing crazy at all. Looks pretty good this way. We have a little lens cap missing on the tail light, but we'll get back there in just a second. If we take a look at the inside, 
inside is pretty whipped it does have this cloth gray interior seats are just whooped guys it does have different headrests i don't know what they was trying to do there pretty whooped um just dirty got a cool radio though 124,000 miles uh you're gonna need a new light or a new lens for this light rather um seems pretty fair though i don't see anything other than uh the inside being super whooped that stands out you can check under eh, i don't know nothing under here that stands out but if we check our paper let's check our paper and see okay yeah it's actually a 2012 guys not a 2011 but yeah what do you guys think about it let me know in the comments below so next up we got a 2002 chevy impala here man does look pretty good everything is intact the paint does still look pretty decent you do have the sunroof up there 155,000 miles we do got some parking stickers on the uh window here tells me that this probably doesn't run more than likely it doesn't um does have the light gray leather interior in here back seats do look pretty cool the front does look pretty fair and decent maybe a pretty decent driving car if it does run who knows um got a bunch of stuff in the trunk seems like wow you got a bunch of marijuana capsules all type of stuff who that's a lot of capsules back there that's crazy but it's nothing in them they smoked a lot of weed that's crazy anywho moving along do have some scrapes down there it is what it is what y'all think about it we got a 2004 honda civic here this one does hold a savage title it does have 140 something thousand miles on it this window over here is down so that tells me this side is either broken or it does not roll up um if we swing around this way it does have 140,000 miles to be exact uh you got this mirror hanging off over here um does have a parking a uh, parking sticker there inside is totally whooped i don't know what they was doing in this joint i don't even want to get in there to show y'all super whooped not dealing with it better you than me better you than me i like detailing cars but i ain't about to do that i'm good i ain't gonna lie we might be able to get this for super super cheap though <laughs> but then again it is a salvage title what's the point of buying a salvage title at a public auction it doesn't make sense to me Alrighty, guys we got another nissan ultima here this one actually is a uh 07 Alrighty, guys. Next up, we got a 2007 Nissan Altima here. 150,000 miles on the clock. First glance, we do have some paint fading on the hood here. We are going to need some hubcaps on both sides. Well, on that side, yeah, we're going to need some hubcaps all around. Does have 150,000 miles. Uh, parking violation sticker. Uh inside i guess does look pretty fair nice cloth gray nothing too crazy that stands out like no like stains or anything like that doesn't have a radio though uh maybe a pretty decent running car and it says expired tent yeah so maybe a pretty decent running car who knows what's wrong with it We'll need uh, some Mako paint job. I don't know. Let's check under the hood and see what it's looking like under here. And no antifreeze at all. Bone dry in there, so the heads may be bad on this thing. It may be knocking gaskets or something. I don't know. We'll see when it comes through. Alrighty, guys. Next up, we got a 2004. 2007 Ford Fusion here. Uh, we do got Mitch Mack wheels on this side. We do got some whammage here in the front. Um, 
119,000 miles, guys. I don't care how low of a mileage this car has. It's really not my flavor at all. Dude, got a little tequila kick here in the door. We take a look at the inside. You do got some tan cloth interior. Um, I guess it's pretty fair. Could be worse. Got burn, um, like smoke burns in the seats and all that. Not really a fan of the car, man, and I don't want to waste y'all time, so we'll just keep it moving here. Keep it moving. Alrighty, we got a 2006 Impala here, 180,000 miles on the clock. Uh, not really interested in it, guys. I'm not, can't even front. Like, it does have the cool leather interior, though. Nice leather interior. It's just, I don't know. Not really a fan of Impalas. Not really a fan. Moving along here. We got a 01 Mitsubishi Eclipse. Not really worried about this one either. I'll just show you guys what they got all around the car though, cause some of you guys really like these cars. Interiors, I guess, it's pretty fair. Here's the GT version. moving along here guys we got a 99 mazda i'm actually good on that i'm actually good on this integra good on the integra Alrighty, guys we got a 98 honda civic here 237,000 miles on the dash here guys does look pretty good from a first glance uh take a look oh no yeah, that's what. You guys see that down there? It's like a puddle on the side. I'm actually, I'm actually good. <laughs> I don't even want to get in there. Anywho, just gonna keep moving. Most of the cars here today, guys, are pretty much junk. So, most of the cars is pretty much junk here today. Whoops. Don't need seat belts and everything on this Mazda. Got another Trans Am here. Oh. Got some cool little red interior, I guess. Is it the V8 though? It's a 95, 153,000 miles. If it is a V8, it's the LT version. I don't even know where the hood latch is on this joint. Okay, so it is the LT V8, which is cool, but shoot LTs, man. They always be having so many problems. Only if it was a LS, I'd be interested. Would be pretty cool to see this thing all done up though. Moving along. I'm not really interested in none of this stuff, guys, to be honest. Bunch of old, like junk cars here today. <laughs> Look at that. That's funny. That's funny. People will rig anything together out here, boy. Bad heads on this one. PT Cruiser, we don't do those. Grand Marquis, we don't do those. Oh, Caddies, this one is pretty clean though. Alrighty, guys, next up, we got a 93 Cadillac DeVille here, 118,000 miles on the on the clock here, guys. It is a really, really clean car, guys, if you guys should see from a first glance. It is a really good-looking ride. Definitely a classic. Definitely a classic. Low mileage. Let's check out this inside. Okay, we're missing a door panel there, but nothing to... Oh, the door panel's in the back. All right, back. So boom, nice cloth, uh, gray seats with the 
defender back there and it's got a cloth over the seat so you so you know whoever had this car took really good care of it they really cared about the quality of the seats because they put a towel down back here these doors are so heavy like crazy wow this is a classic blast from the past sedan deville it's a nice car man i really wish i had some use for it i don't got this no more they took that off i used to love playing with this on my granny cadillac yeah man this is a really nice caddy real classic looks really good how much y'all think it's gonna go for here today man let me know what you think about it all righty guys all righty guys next up man we got a 2000 lexus ls 400 here salvage on the title 144,000 miles on the dash um these lexuses they still sell for pretty decent prices i would i would suppose inside nice leather tan interior the back is pretty fair as well does look pretty good nothing that stands out you take a look at the media interface center looks really good does have the sunroof you can throw some nice like stagger rims on this thing and sell it to like one of the drifters or something these things are nice got a little little panel missing there nothing crazy though looks good looks good moving along we got a jeep grand cherokee here 139,000 miles I'm actually good on the Jeep Grand Cherokee, but this one does look pretty nice. It's an O2 Jeep Grand Cherokee. Nice black leather interior. Looks pretty decent on the inside. And in the back, it does look good too. Everything up here looks to be fair. Um, how many miles does it have? 139,000 miles, guys. Um, actually, I wouldn't mind bidding on this. It is a nice four by four can change this thing to a, like a nice rock crawler or something like that and people still buy these i guess for pretty decent prices if we look under the hood it does look really good under here and really clean as well it seems legit try to think about the uh the grand cherokee man i wouldn't mind bidding on this today 126,000 miles on the Chrysler Sebring. You can just take a little quick walk around. Not really a fan of it. But if you want if you want the top drop, man. A top drop. If you want a drop top, it's gonna go for super, super cheap. Drop top shawty. Anyways, moving along here. A few more trucks here. Just regular trucks, nothing crazy at all nothing that stands out nothing that i would be interested in nothing that probably you guys wouldn't be interested in so we're just going to keep it moving here yeah all righty guys and these are cars that don't run and or don't start and all these cars will go for like maybe a hundred bucks 50 bucks 150 bucks maybe uh, you got an atsv here nice cadillac rims motor apart so that's pretty decent dang this thing right here is whoops whoa that looked like that had to hurt it's crazy Now, as I'm looking at this BMW, I'm looking in this passenger seat here, and it looks like there's a chest in here. There's a freaking chest in this car, guys. So who knows, it may be even a whole lot of money in here. Look at the chest. Who knows what's in that chest? Is anybody willing, willing to bid on it and find out what's in the chest, man? Man, that'd be crazy if it was like bands of money up in there. 
Alrighty, guys, that's going to be a wrap for today's video, man. If you haven't already, please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel, man. Um, if you're wondering what today's cars are going to go for, be sure to check back tomorrow as that video will be out first thing in the morning. We came to the auction today. Most of the cars were not really our style. Uh, mostly junk up here today, unfortunately. But there's always next time, so be sure to catch us and uh, stay tuned.